Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I have a fruit for thought for you and a bonus fruit for thought. So let's get into it and I'll tell you all about it. I went to my P.O. box to pick up my fruit for thought for this month and I go to my P.O. box at least once a week and I had two. <laughs> so it's one, I think the other one, it has a date on it of 12. 18 on the outside so I don't know if it was lost getting to my post office if it was lost within my post office but it was there when I went this time so I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna show you the bonus one just so you get a feel for how their boxes are month over month but let's start with this one because it is the most recent it is the March box I believe it is the avocado toast so I am fully in so let's check this out these boxes are sent to me free for review this is what it looks like on the inside. This is the March theme of avocado toast. I love avocado toast. I believe if you sign up now for April, it is BLT. Pretty sure that's still available. But if you want to go over and check it out, I will put the link and my code below. It's just Catherine 10. It will get you $10 off your first subscription, whether you sign up for a month or a longer period of time. So that is what the inside looks like. So cute. It says right on top. I love avocado toast. I love avocado avocado toast. It is hard without going to the grocery store on the constant to get enough avocados eaten before they start getting, you know, older. I found frozen avocados at my Sam's Club and you just take out a few hunks and you can let it thaw and mash it and I'm throwing away a lot less avocado these days. We're gonna dig in here. We have the back of this that will tell us a little bit about each of the products. We're gonna have five to seven products and the box is $39.95 monthly. We take it out, we have, oh my gosh, a makeup eraser. Is this gonna have avocados on it? Get out of town. Come on, man. I love makeup erasers. I use these to wash my face every day. You know, makeup eraser or my Norwex ones. I do have a lot of Norwex ones that I do love too, but How stinkily stinking cute is that? It has the side that you clean with and the side you exfoliate with. It's about the size of my hand. This is a nice size. I have bigger ones than this and smaller ones. I don't think I have any this size. It says erase all makeup with just water with this original makeup eraser with a cute avocado print. Double sided to erase makeup with the short fibers and exfoliate the skin with the longer fibers. Reusable, machine washable, it lasts three to five years and equals 3,000. 600 makeup wipes with no chemicals. That is so stinking cute. And actually, I just looked on the back and this is even mentioned. It says that this is by Shop Moods and it's great to decorate water bottles, laptops, phone cases, notebooks, car windows, etc. Waterproof and weatherproof for indoor or outdoor. That is so cool. I know that my two oldest granddaughters have things decorating their water bottles that they take to school. That's apparently really in now, so that's super cute. So each month you have this, you might have guessed because I'm getting ready to show you too. Each month you will have a different theme and this month is avocado toast. I can't wait to see what the other one is. This says that it's Snacking Avocado by Ernest Eats. It's sea salt, it's keto. The beautiful simplicity of fresh, Haas avocados flash freeze dried and seasoned by hand for an unexpected light and airy snack. The whole bag has six carbohydrates, but it has five dietary fibers. And I think that is where the magic of the situation comes in. I don't know, I've never done keto. My son-in-law does keto. I haven't paid enough attention. Those will be fun to try. Next out, this is a good box. Next out, we have Surf's Up Candle, Avocado and Cilantro. So, what a perfect kitchen candle. You could be doing this while slicing tomatoes. You would think you had a whole salsa thing going on. Oh, wow, that smells delicious. I don't know that I get avocado. I get, did it say lime? Cilantro. I don't love cilantro. It's okay. I know you're not supposed to be like, it's okay. You're supposed to love it or you're supposed to hate it. If I'm forced to eat it plain, I'm gonna go with hate. But they put it in so many salsas now and I love salsa and by the time I get the tomato and the onion in there, I've gone off on a tangent. This smells fantastic, but it, gun to my head, I would never have said avocado cilantro. I would have said citrus and Pez. <laughs> it smells delicious, but I don't get the avocado cilantro, which I'm not thinking is necessarily a bad thing. And it is a soy candle and they are in Belmar, New Jersey. It smells delicious. Always read the paperwork, Catherine. 
This says, enjoy the fresh scent of avocado mixed with a hint of cilantro and zesty lime. So it is absolutely the lime that I smell. It is an all natural soy wax and hand poured with a cotton wick. It smells fantastic. Next out we have, oh, Gustus Vitae. I know that before I read it. Everything but the avocado toast. Gourmet seasonings handcrafted. Oh, so this is just gonna be seasonings that you sprinkle on top. I That's my favorite. I like to take like a whole grain bread. I actually even like the Dave's brand and all of that, but that with avocado on it, sometimes a fried egg, lots of seasoning. Let's see what's in this. It is sea salt, sesame seeds, basil leaves, garlic, onion, parsley flakes, celery seed, paprika, oregano, lemon, thyme, dill, red pepper, chives, basil leaves, shrivel, tarragon, and white pepper. That sounds amazing. Oh, let me show you guys. It's much lighter colored than I expected. A lot of sesame seeds because, you know, it's going to taste like a sesame seed bagel probably. Look how good that... Oh, I can smell the pepper in it. This smells like it would taste so good on chicken. Is that wrong that I think that? I will be using this. This smells fantastic. I have several of these all over the side of my fridge. The back is, I should mention, the back is a magnet. So you can take this and it right up to your fridge and then it has little pouring holes and on the back side a full pouring spout. I love these. I've purchased them several times. Oh look, I could, it's such a strong magnet I can pick up the candle lid because the candle lid is metal. Perfect example. Anyway, I get a lot of those from FabFitFun. I've had the sugars and several of the salts. Oh, I think that Jess even did them in Goldie Boxed. Love them. And last out, what do we have? Maybe a notepad? That is adorable. Latin Beauty. Oh, what is this? This is gonna be a palette of some sort. Oh. It is an eyeshadow palette and it is so cute. Oh my gosh, guys. I hope you can tell those colors. He's like, oh, eyeshadow. So stinking cute. Well, let's see what that green does. Oh, they're creamy and nice. That's one of the limey greens that's in it. Let's try that. Oh, that's glittery. That's kind of a glitter. Let's see if the white, nope, the white isn't a glitter. The white is more of a satin. I prefer, to, I don't wear many glitters because I'm always afraid I'll get them in my eye. I know, it's a me thing. This mustardy color, let's check that out. Ooh, that is prettier than you think. Not that you didn't think it was pretty. You might have seen this and you might have thought, ooh, I like the mustard one. Well, you're right. It is very pretty. Let's see how they swatch. That is how those four went on. Those colors are so pretty and fun. I cannot wait to play with these. And I didn't even see this. It says right up top, the cutest 12 color avocado eyeshadow palette you ever did see from Shop Eye Beauty. It is vegan and cruelty free. I will totally be playing with this. You will for sure be seeing me in these avocado colors. That is so cute. That was the March theme from the Fruit for Thought box. We got the snacking avocado. Can't wait to snack on that. And oh my gosh, this eyeshadow palette. I mean, can you even? The Surf's Up Avocado and Cilantro Candle smells a lot like lime. I like it very much. The Gustus Vitae, everything but the avocado toast that it's seasoning. You can put it on anything you want. I will be trying it on toast, but I think I will probably also be trying it on chicken. Uh, I'm sorry, but the cutest made up makeup eraser you've ever seen. A fun little sticker that you can put on one, if you are like me, of the many bottles that you've gotten in boxes through the years. And there you go. That is the March fruit for thought box. So let's dive in and see what the other month is. Since we've already done a more recent one, we'll just go through this one really quickly. Oh, it says it was December's. Wow. Since the bo top of the box says 1218, I'm going to guess that this was just lost in my post office because I bet that's what they write when they get it in the post office. Better late than never. Pomegranate rhubarb. Oh yes, this says right on it. And I just noticed on this one, not on that one. April's theme is bacon, lettuce, and tomato. So cute. She's been doing the cutest stuff over on her Insta. You should follow her over on Insta. So back in December, we had the retro corn rhubarb and custard popcorn coated with crushed sweets. Puffed in Great Britain, traditional British sweets. 
So I'll tell you what I will do. I will get on Instagram in a few days and we'll see how they taste. We also received two Juicy Pomegranate 15 Minute Mask Pack. It says it improves elasticity while softening the skin, leaving your face healthy and glowing. Each box receives two masks. Next out, ooh, this looks like food too. What is this? Strawberry Rhubarb Preserves. Ooh, that's super fun. That's huge. Nine ounces. Strawberry Rhubarb Preserves by HunterHillsburg.com is delicious on toast or with cottage cheese, yogurt, or granola. Some folks eat it plain out of the jar. Oh, it's from the Finger Lakes. I have an aunt that has a place up in the Finger Lakes, and I would love it up there. All natural, GMO-free, nut-free, grain-free, vegan, and dairy-free. Wow. Ingredients, cane sugar, strawberries, rhubarb, lemon, and pectin. Next, we have a Jill Zara Handmade with Love bracelet, I think. That is so pretty. Let's take that out. And that is what that looks like. I looked down in the box and I have a little pamphlet buried down in here that says it's handmade clay jewelry designed in Chicago. Very nice. The pamphlet shows all of the kinds of jewelry they make. That's really cool. And the back tells you that how to care for it. Moisture can cause the cord to degrade prematurely. Do not immerse in water. Do not wear while showering or swimming. Rectangular shaped handcrafted clay beads are strung together with a silver accent on the at Jill Zara beautiful pomegranate and rhubarb colored stretch bracelet. Oh, you know what guys? When I do this and I get it out of the direct light, it is, I don't know, 1,000 times prettier. It's got colors woven into it. It's got some greens and some red wavies. And you know what? I'm gonna take a really good picture of this and I will post it up on my Insta so that you can see it because this is beautiful. And it has the big silver piece. This is just, I mean, it's just really, hopefully this will show it. It is just really pretty. Can you see it if I cover it with my hand a little underneath? So pretty. And last but not least, I have a Pomegranate Boost Toner Mist. And this says that it is from Moira Cosmetics and is an ultra fine mist infused with pomegranate to instantly help renew and balance your complexion. Lock in moisture after cleansing, before makeup application, or as a refresher throughout the day. Oh, it's a really fine mist. Really, can you guys tell how fine that is? It smells really good. I don't know if that's what pomegranate smells like. Fresh and fruity, maybe a little watermelony. I like that. Restore and balance clean beauty. It says it's cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate and phthalate free, and gluten free. Good for all skin types. I just went to move stuff so I could put everything in it. I found a lollipop. It is an original gourmet pomegranate raspberry lollipop. Was that on here? The most delicious pomegranate and raspberry gourmet lollipop you will ever taste. Combining the sweet and mildly sour taste of pomegranate with the deliciousness of raspberries. So thank you so much to Fruit for Thought for sending me both of these boxes. I am sorry that the post office played hide and seek with the December one, but I'm glad that it gave everybody a chance to see what they do month over month. So the theme back in December was pomegranate rhubarb. And we received the retro corn in rhubarb cream from Great Britain. That sounds delightful. We received two of the Juicy Pomegranate Masks, the Strawberry Rhubarb Huge Preserves, nine ounces of preserves. Can I hold it? I can hold it with one hand still. The Pomegranate Boost Toner Mist from Moira Cosmetics, the really pretty bracelet that I can't begin to do justice from Jill Zara, and a lollipop. That is what December looked like. So two really great months to show you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. If you have any interest in this, I will put all of the information below with my links and my code, Catherine10. It will get you 10% off your first subscription. If you have any questions, let me know if I can help. I am most happy to do that. I hope I see you again really soon. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. And take care, guys.